Hi, this is question 2 from the AQA call to January 2013 exam paper. Uh, in this question, um, we're looking at the trapezium rule and then we're going to look at some um, indefinite integration followed by um, a definite integration. Um, what I'd like to do first of all is try the question. Um, so if you'd like to pause the video now um, and have a go. Okay, well done if you managed to have a go at this question. We're now going to go through a hint. Um, so I'm going to um, give you a few clues as to how you can go about answering this question. Now, first of all, um, we want to use the trapezium rule with five ordinates. So um, what I would suggest is you start by drawing a table um, for x and y values, and your x um, ordinates um, will be, um, because there's five of them, and we want a integral between 1 and 5, um, I'd use the numbers 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. You then um, can input each of those into this function to work out what the y ordinates are. Okay, um, and then use the trapezium rule. Now the trapezium rule will be quoted in your um, formula booklet. The way that I like to remember the trapezium rule is that the area um, is equal to a half h and h stands for um, the um, the width of each of the trapeziums so in this case it's it's going to be each one's going to have a width of one um, so half h times by um, and it's going to be the the end ordinate which we'll just write end plus two times the middle ordinate and we'll call those our mid okay um, and it just makes the formula um, nice and simple to to remember so half h um, times by the ends plus two mids okay um have a go at doing that and then part b where um we've got this um integral here um and we um w want to um integrate this so if you um, just remember the rules for, for integration we want to add to the power and then we want to divide um, this term by the new power and over here we add to the power and then we divide um, this term by the new power okay um, for the second part um, once we've integrated this um, we will be able to um, to um, find a definite integral by um, putting 4 into our integral um, and then taking away what we get when we put 1 into our integral. Okay, so those are my hints for this. If you'd like to now pause the video um, and have a go at finishing this question. Okay, um, well done if you managed to have a go at that. Um, if you're a little bit unsure, you might want to work through the answer with me. So, um, for the first part, part A, um, I'm going to use the formula um, that we've got over here. Uh, before I do that, I'm going to draw a quick table with my x and my y values. So, um, here we go, so, table. Okay, and I'm going to put in five ordinates. Okay, I apologise for my scrappy table here. Okay, so um, let's do the different colours. So I'm going to put in one, two, three, four, and five. Um, and if I put one into here, one over. Um, 1 plus 1 is 2, so that's going to be 0 0.5. Um, if I put 2 into here, I'm going to get a fifth, which is 0 0.2. If I put 3 into here, I'm going to get a tenth, which is 0 0.1. 4 into here, and I'm going to get 1 17th. Um, and um, our answer, we want it to three significant figures. So anything I write in here, I'm going to do to um, at least four significant figures so so that I get less of a rounding error at the end. So that's going to be 0 
zero five eight eight two. Zero point zero five eight eight two. Okay. And um if I just shift this along a little bit. Okay, um, and then I'm going to put a 5 into this, and that's going to give me um, 1 over 26, and that's 0 0.03846. There we go, right, so um, <coughs> I'm now going to um, use this formula here. Um, so I'll just grab that and just put this down here. Okay, so I want half h times by my ends, and my ends are going to be um, this one and this one um, plus two times my mids and my mids. They're going to be these three here. Okay, so um, so my area is going to be well. Um, H is going to be one. That's the width of each strip. So half of that is just half. So it's going to be a half. And then my ends are going to be the sum of these two, which is going to be zero point five three eight four six. this two times my mids and my mids are going to be the sum of these three which is going to be 0 0.35882 there we go right so um, and if I if I put all of that into my calculator um, the answer I get is Okay, zero point six two eight zero five. Uh, I want it to three significant figures, so that's going to be zero point six two eight. So zero zero point six two eight. And there you go. So that's part A for four marks. Right. Um, part B. Um, we want to integrate this um, function here. So I'm just going to tidy up my work a little bit. Great, so now I can start part B over here. And the first part of part B. Okay, so um, I'm going to integrate this. So we'll start with this term over here. I want to add one to the power. So that's going to make that um, negative a half. Um, so I'm going to have x to the negative a half. And then I'm going to divide by negative a half. So I'm going to put the minus sign here. And that gives me a half there. Um, and I'm going to have this term here. So again, I add 1 to the power. Um, so that's going to be 6x to the, and that's going to be 3 halves. And then I'm going to divide by that new power. So I'm going to divide by 3 halves. OK, so, um, so that's going to be equal to. Um, and I'm going to simplify this and it has actually said to us that we want to write it in its simplest form so dividing by a half is the same as multiplying by the reciprocal of a half which is 2 um, so this is going to be minus 2x to the minus a half and then we want to plus and um, dividing by 3 over 2 is the same as times in by 2 thirds and 6 times 2 thirds is going to be, uh, 6 times 2 is 12, and um, divided by 3 gives us 4. So that's going to be 4x to the power of 3 over 2. Um, and then we need to remember to put, add our arbitrary constant onto the end. So I'm going to put plus c on the end. Um, and there you go, there's b part 1. Now b part 2. Okay, strictly speaking, I should have written that there as well. Okay, um, B part two. Um, we want to find the value of this definite integral this time. So I'm going to take this expression, um, minus 2x to the minus a half plus 4x. And we're going 
going to put it in 4 and 1. So I'm going to substitute 4 into this expression and then um, take away um, what happens when I put 1 into this expression. So um, putting the 4 in first, I'm going to have minus, I'll put brackets around there, so minus um, 2 and 4 to the power of minus a half, or 4 to the power of a half is the square root of 4, which is 2. So that's going to be, um, if it's minus half, be the reciprocal of 2, which is a half. Okay. Plus, and then I'll have 4 times, and again, um, I'm going to put 4 into here, so um, 4 to the power of 3 over 2. Well, 4 to the power of a half is 2 and then I want to cube it, um, so that's going to give me 8. Okay, I then take away, and I'm going to put 1 into this, so minus 2 times by, and 1 to the power of minus half is just 1, so that's going to be minus 2, um, plus, and 4 times, and 1 to the power of 3 over 2 is just going to be 1 again, um, so I'm going to put a 4 there. So that's going to be equal to, um, and negative 2 times by a half is negative 1 I'll write it out, negative 1 plus 32 take away, and I can do this, minus 2 plus 4 is 2 so it's going to be take away 2 um, and that gives us And there you go. Right, so, um, and that's, that's five marks for that second part there. Okay, so, um, thanks very much for joining me, and I'll see you again for the next video.